Avian, a solution engineer with Simba, a magnitude company devoted to data connectivity solutions. I'm here to show you how to configure the Simba Hive ODBC driver for Windows. This tutorial assumes you already have this driver installed. If you haven't installed one, please check out our video tutorial on how to install your Magnitude Connectivity ODBC driver. The most common way to configure an ODBC driver on Windows is to create a data source name, which is also known as DSN. This is done using the ODBC data source administrator program that came with your install of Windows. As you can see, there will be two versions of the app installed, one for each business. Make sure to use the version that matches the business of the driver and the application you want to use. You can double check the driver installed in the Drivers tab. The Install Driver should show up here if you installed successfully. You have the option to configure a user or a system DSN. For this demo, I will create a system DSN. The process is the same for a user DSN. Clicking the Add button displays a list of driver installed, just as we saw earlier. Double-clicking or clicking Finish launches the DSN configuration dialog. The DSN configuration dialog is where you set your connection settings. The first setting allows you to set the data source name, which is a name for the connection that will appear in the application DSN list. The next field is an optional description where you make your comments or notes about your DSN. To connect to a Hive server, you must configure the Simba Hive ODBC driver to use the authentication mechanism that matches the access requirements of the server and provides the necessary credentials. By default, the Hive server type is Hive server 2. Hive server 1 instances do not support authentication, so you must use no authentication as the authentication mechanism for Hive 1 server instances. Server discovery mode options specifies whether the driver uses the Zookeeper server. In our demo case, we are using Hive Server 2 and no discovery mode. In the hosts field, type the IP address or host name of the Hive server. In the port field, type the number of the TCP that the Hive server uses to listen for client connections. In the database field, type the name of the database schema to use when the schema is not explicitly specified in a query. Choose the appropriate option, in this case, username and password, and enter the credentials. In the password options, you can select encrypt password for current user only or all users of the machine. For this demo, Currently, user only is fine. Optionally, if the operations against Hive are to be done on behalf of a user that is different than the authenticated user for the connection, type the name of the user to be delegated in the delegation UID field. In the Swift Transport drop-down list, select the transport protocol to use in the Swift layer. Specify the proxy in the proxy options. Check the Use Proxy checkbox and fill in appropriate information for the proxy host, port, username, and password. We're not using proxy today, so we'll leave it as it is. Specify HTTP options when you set HTTP as the Swift Transport. Similar to proxy options, you can configure the driver to enable SSL in the SSL options. 
For more detailed information on SSL options, you can check our documentation on the website. Our driver also supports numerous advanced options, which can be found in the Advanced Options dialog. You can also refer to the documentation on our website for a more detailed advanced options guide. Click OK to save your settings and close the Advanced Option dialog box. Our driver supports six levels of logging, which can be found in the logging options of the driver. If you're debugging an issue with Magnitude Simba support, we will frequently ask you for the trace log to aid in reproducing the issue. To do this, you will set the log level to trace and then browse for a location to store your trace log. A good location for the trace log is usually documents or downloads or a folder that has relatively open user permissions. It is important to turn the logging off when you are not debugging because the trace level logging can have a massive impact on the driver performance. Once your DSN is configured, Click the test button, which will check to make sure your driver can successfully connect to Hive server. If that passes, you have successfully configured your driver. To save your driver, simply click the OK button. That's it! Now your Hive ODBC driver is configured and ready for use with any application. If you have any questions, please check our FAQ section located on our website or email us at solution at simba.com. Thank you for choosing Simba Data Connectivity Solutions, and we hope you enjoy the product.